Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through a quick review of division, and specifically, we're going to be working with two-digit divisors. That just means we're dividing by two-digit numbers. Now, this is going to be the exact same process as when we divide by a one-digit number. If it's been a while and you need a quick refresher, this should be helpful. Whether you're in middle school, high school, college, continuing your education as an adult, or maybe you just learned this recently, really, no matter what your situation is, here are a couple of examples to help you out. Everyone needs a refresher from time to time. Let's jump into number one, where we have 962 divided by 20. And the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to set this up. Now, 962 is the number we are dividing. It's called the dividend. So it goes under the division bar. So we have 962 divided by, and then 20 is our divisor. It's the number we're dividing by. Now we're ready to go through the division process, the steps, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. And we start with divide. So we have nine divided by 20. How many whole groups of 20 are in nine? Well, we can't do that. So we need to go to the next digit over and use that six. So we have the nine and the six. So we have 96, 96 divided by 20. How many whole groups of 20 are in 96? Well, four groups of 20 gets us to 80, and then five groups of 20 gets us to 100. So five is too many, it's going to be four. So we need to put a four above the 96. Don't put it above the nine, put it above the six because we did 96 divided by 20. Then we come around and multiply. So four times 20, that gives us 80. Then we subtract six minus zero, six, and then nine minus eight, one. After we subtract, we bring down. So let's bring down this two, and then we repeat. So we go back to divide. So now we have 162 divided by 20. How many whole groups of 20 are in 162? Well, eight groups of 20 gets us to 160, and that's as close as we are going to get. So 162 divided by 20, eight whole groups of 20 in 162. Then we come around and multiply. So eight times 20 is 160. Subtract, two minus zero is two, six minus six is zero, and one minus one is zero, so we have two. Now after subtracting, we bring down but we don't have anything to bring down. We went all the way over to the ones place. So that two is going to be our remainder. So 48 remainder two is our answer. Let's move on to number two, where we have 6,865 divided by 73. So we are dividing 6,000 865, that's our dividend, it goes under our division bar, and we are dividing by 73. 73 is our divisor. Now we go through our steps. So we start with divide. We have 6 divided by 73. How many whole groups of 73 are in 6? We can't do that. So we go to the next digit. We have an 8. So we take a look at 68. How many whole groups of 73 are in 68? We can't do that either, so we need to go to the next digit over, which is another 6. So we have 686 divided by 73. So we need to figure out how many whole groups of 73 are in 686. Now in order to figure out how many whole groups of 73 are in 686, we need to estimate and check. Now, I always like to use something I know as a reference point, something to go off of in order to make better estimates. So for example, I always like to start with 10. I like to think about 10. So 73 times 10 is 730. Now we can go off of that because we have 686, which is 
kind of close to 730. So our estimate should be close to 10 groups of 73. So let's try nine. So I'm going to come to the side and do 73 times nine to see where nine groups of 73 gets us. So nine times three, 27. Then we have nine times seven, which is 63 plus two, 657. And that's as close as we are going to get. So nine whole groups of 73. And that nine needs to go above the 686, that last six we used. Now we multiply. I'm going to do this problem without drawing those arrows. So nine times 73 is 657. Then we subtract. So six minus seven, we need to borrow. 16 minus seven is nine. Seven minus five is two. And then six minus six is zero. After subtracting, we bring down. So let's bring down the five. And we have 295. After we bring down that five, we repeat. So we go back to divide. So we have 295 divided by 73. We need to figure out how many whole groups of 73 are in 295. So let's use nine groups of 73 as a reference point. Nine groups of 73, or 73 times nine, gave us 657. 295 is about half of that, so we need to scale that back. Let's try 73 times five and see how close we get, and then we can make adjustments if need be. Let's come to the left here where I have some room. So 73 times five. Five times three is 15. Five times seven is 35, plus one is 36. So we get 365, which is too high. We don't have enough for five whole groups of 73, but that's still useful because we know we need to scale back. So let's try four, so 73 times four. Four times three is 12, carry the one. Four times seven is 28, plus one is 29. So 292, it's going to be four whole groups of 73 in 295. So let's put our four up here, and then we multiply. Four times 73 is 292. Subtract, five minus two is three, and then we have nine minus nine is zero, and two minus two is zero. After subtracting, we bring down. We went all the way over to the ones place. We do not have anything else to bring down, so that three is our remainder. So we get 94, remainder three, for our final answer. Now one more thing I do want to mention is the difference between numbers one and two. Although we divided by a two-digit number in both of these problems, number two took more work and more time. But that's perfectly okay. In number one, we divided by 20. That's a much easier number to work with than the 73 in number two. So that's something to keep in mind as you go through these types of problems. Some numbers are easier to work with than others, and some problems take more work than others. So there you have it. There's a quick review of division, and specifically two-digit divisors. So we divided by two-digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.